cooking is going to be a little bit different. I've actually partnered with Lifesum for this video. Thank you to Lifesum for sponsoring this video. And so I'm going to take you guys through my entire day of eating like you guys already know, but I'm going to show you everything that I track. I'm going to show you the amounts, et cetera, et cetera. So as you guys can see, the Lifesum app, after I plugged everything in, has me at around 1,945 calories, 240 grams of carbs, 97 grams of protein, which in my opinion is pretty low, so I'm actually going to bump that up to about 130 grams, and then 65 grams of fats. I love it because it has a water tracker, which if you guys are anything like me, I actually have a hard time getting on my water. So you can literally just like plug in, which I've had about three glasses today, plug in the water that you've had, and then it like encourages you and tells you how you're doing. YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full day of eating, per usual. You guys like those for some reason or another. You like seeing what I'm eating every single day. And I'm also going to talk to you guys a little bit about my plant protein sources, where I get my protein from as a vegetarian, which vegetarians still eat eggs and egg whites, but that's, I'll get to that here in a little bit. Right now, I have to go to the grocery store. I am like plum out of everything. I literally feel like I go to the grocery store like three or four times a week for fresh produce. Is anyone else with me on that? Because it's frustrating and I can't buy like it in bulk because it doesn't last and it's not fresh when I need it. So I, I just just make it like an every other day thing you know that's what happens when you eat a lot of fresh natural foods I was going to go to Trader Joe's but I think I'm gonna switch it up today and I'm going to go to Whole Foods I know getting out of my element you guys who am I becoming who are you you no not me you yes I am you just answer the damn questions who are you going to Whole Foods gonna get my groceries I will show you guys what I get when I'm there and then I'm going home to freaking eat cuz I'm hungry Trying to make good choices in the grocery store, like. All right, so got my groceries. I'm going to head home. I'm actually going to sip on this while I head home. Macros on it, 15 calories, four grams carbs, three grams of sugar, so really not a whole lot. If we were being like super technical, you guys, this drink would break my fast. It has three grams of sugar in it, so obviously it's going to start regulating your insulin levels, um, but it's 1 p.m., so I need to break my fast anyways. Look at these little nuggets. Hey guys, what you doing? He's officially growing into his ears. As of two days ago, his ears have been like folded over and it's the cutest thing ever. Nico, hi buddy, can you sit? Hi. So some of the groceries that I got, these are just like everyday staples. Almond milk, I got some garlic hummus, 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 <laughs> tomatoes, some rice cakes, Ezekiel bread, egg, kiwi, this looks really good, it's a mint matcha tea, egg whites, lots of egg whites, organic ketchup, dill, some powdered peanut butter, I still have plenty of regular peanut butter on hand, truvia, spinach, some strawberries, which I am like going through this weird phase where I am just literally obsessed with strawberries, a bunch of avocados, an onion, and that's pretty much it. My first meal is going to just be rice cakes with some honey and some powdered peanut butter. I don't usually do this, but here's like a glimpse into what my fridge looks like. Pretty much all the time. Um, almond milk, I keep a lot of almond milk, clearly. Lots of spinach, drinks, tea, egg whites. Um, these, I just have, always have like a combination of really good like green daily drinks because they just make me feel good. Hummus, cream cheese, um, tomatoes, lots of Ezekiel bread. I'm a huge fan of the cinnamon raisin. Eggs, more eggs. This peanut butter is like so freaking good. If y'all haven't had it, it's absolutely amazing. High in protein too, so like if you're a vegetarian, it's a really good way to get protein in without having to have any meat sources. I already told y'all about my addiction with strawberries, blueberries, kiwi, celery, onions, butternut squash, this stuff looks so good. And then obviously all the avocados, tomatoes, carrots, cucumbers. You get the point. All right, so here we have just four rice cakes with PB2, which is powdered peanut butter and honey on top. Obviously, it's like getting everywhere. As you can see, these are the rice cakes that I used and then the peanut butter. So I went ahead and plugged this meal in. Pretty easy, and I really like it because you can actually just like scan barcodes. So if you don't know the macros on something, it'll literally plug it in for you. <laughs> All 
right guys, so meal two is egg white scrambled with one whole egg and then I topped it with some dill and my everything but the bagel sesame seasoning as well as two slices of cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread, avocado and sliced strawberries. I went ahead and plugged everything into the LifeSum app and it seems like I'm pretty on point for the amount of calories this meal should have been. It says I'm only 38 under, I don't know if you can see that. I really like this because it actually has like a healthy level of sodium so it like tells you your sodium level your sugar which this one is says it's slightly high in sugar but I'm really not too worried about that and then along with that I'm sipping on a Zevia all right so you guys saw my very first two meals I'm about to go make my third one and then I actually have to go to the gym and then I am getting a deep tissue massage I'm getting work done on my shoulder again because it's just like been flaring up so bad this week and I'm sure it's just like a combination of the way I sit when I'm working on my laptop and training and probably sleeping on it wrong so we're gonna get that fixed I was going to have cream of rice with egg whites but I changed my mind I'm having some like crazy chocolate craving right now and so I'm actually going to make my protein ice cream um, but I'm going to use the chocolate protein powder instead of the mint that I would typically use and then I'm going to top it with banana slices because I've got bananas that are going bad and I really just need to use them after I eat this meal I'm going to sit and talk to you guys a little bit before I head to the gym this legitimately looks like a Wendy's chocolate frosty you guys so in case you've missed it before you literally just use the level one protein by first form my link is in the description box below some Truvia almond milk and then if you want you can add spinach in I didn't this time because well chocolate and spinach just does not sound good and there you have it I went ahead and topped it with cacao nibs and some sliced bananas all right so this meal I went ahead and plugged in under a snack even though it's pretty much more so a meal 492 calories this was let's see 30 grams of protein sounds about right 44 grams of carbs and 21 grams of fat I also just had another glass of water oh I love how it makes that cool sound all right guys so I am back now I said that I was going to talk to you guys before I head to the gym and to my deep tissue massage so basically I wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown as to why I became a vegetarian a lot of people have kind of asked me about that lately And I didn't want to make like an entire video over it So I figured I would just like throw that topic in with this one But basically I became a vegetarian simply because I burned myself out on consuming lean meats chicken Turkey just you know every kind of lean meat that there was because I ate a lot of it and I was eating it like three times a day I was even trying to like switch up the recipes to make it taste different. I would make turkey burgers I would do ground turkey, I would do shredded chicken in a crock pot, I would eat whole grilled chicken and it just wasn't, it wasn't tasting good to me anymore. Um, I was completely losing my appetite, like the thought of even eating meat just completely was just like, Bleh, don't even want to touch it, don't want anything to do with it. Um, and not only that, but I noticed that my body wasn't digesting it the way that I felt like it should have been. And so I kind of just like played around with it one week. I was like, you know, I'm going to try to be a vegetarian for a few days, see how I like it. Surprisingly, it was incredibly easy. And at the time, my sister was a vegan, so she was very helpful as far as like where I could get protein from. When you're consuming meat, I feel like you're almost like, I don't want to say naive, but you're not as aware of, of other sources of protein, at least for me. Um, I didn't realize that there were a lot of plants that had high protein, like edamame is a crazy incredible source of protein. And I didn't realize that stuff um, when I was consuming meat because when I thought protein I thought turkey chicken ground beef so I tried it out I remember trying it out for the first week and I like literally fell in love with it you guys like my body felt amazing um, I was having no problems hitting my protein there are plenty of protein sources and I'll get to that here in a second but it just felt right to me and honestly I preach it all the time this lifestyle is about finding what works for you so if being a vegetarian works for you and that's where you want to go then great if you want to be a vegan then great if you want to consume lean meats then great I'm not here to say that there's a certain lifestyle that's better than another I'm just here to say that Nico is about to knock my camera over <laughs> can't do that buddy <laughs> Nico <laughs> I am just here to say that one, Nico is a toddler, and two, you have to find what works for you. To touch on the subject as far as where I get protein from as a vegetarian, I kind of made a list. This dog, you guys, he is like, what are you doing? Am I that dirty? Do I smell bad? Do I really need to bath that bad? I am here to give you guys a list of protein sources 
for me as a vegetarian. I get a lot of protein from edamame. It's one of my favorite vegetables. 150 grams of it roughly has 20 to 25 grams of protein, which is crazy for a vegetable. Egg whites, whole eggs, Ezekiel bread, um, other vegetables, whole grains, protein powder, and I use that in things like protein ice cream, protein waffles, protein pancakes. There's a lot of recipes that you can use protein powder in. And then along with that, there are, are a lot of plant-based protein crumbles that you can usually get in the freezer section, but you can get it at Target, Kroger, Tom Thumb, Albertsons, Walmart, pretty much any store in the frozen grocery section. Being a vegetarian was kind of like a tricky transition for me at first um, because I was having to learn where to get new sources of protein from, but it was very, very easy to adapt. I have almost been a vegetarian for a full year now, which is crazy. I've had a lot of people ask me if I would ever go vegan. I don't think I would ever go vegan simply because there's still a lot of dairy products that I do enjoy and I'm just gonna throw that out there. I like cream cheese. I am a die-hard fan of frozen yogurt, you guys, and I am not willing to give that up unless it was like a medical reason. Like if my body was just like rejecting it, then I would obviously give it up at that point. But my body doesn't have a bad response to dairy at this time. It did in the past. I've talked about that before, kind of worked it back into my diet and slowly my body changed and adapted and accepted it again but I yeah I could never go vegan but definitely love the vegetarian lifestyle and you know it just kind of goes hand in hand it just fits me well I like it I've enjoyed it my body has responded really good to it one of the most popular questions that I got asked was did I lose any muscle mass when I went into the vegetarian side of things I did not I I feel like my body responded so much better than it did when I was eating meat and I don't say that lightly because I feel like my digestion digestion is better. I feel like I just feel good you guys. Which speaking of that, if you guys want a video over why you might be bloating or five top five things that could be causing bloating, give this video a thumbs up right now and I will do that for you. My fourth meal I'm going to put on the screen right now is going to be a combination of edamame, tomatoes, maybe some onions. I have not decided yet. You guys will see when I put it on the screen right now. Um, some beefless crumbles, which they are plant-based protein, and then some other seasonings as well. And my last meal, meal five, is going to be Ezekiel bread, avocados, cherry tomatoes sliced up, two whole eggs and some egg whites, and you guys are going to see that on the screen right now as well. That is a absolute staple meal. I feel like even as flexible dieters, we all have that one meal that no matter how much our diet changes on a day-to-day -day basis, we all have that one staple meal that we absolutely love, that we absolutely have to have, and this is it. Speaking of which, the LifeSum app, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. You guys can download it for yourself if you want. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a beginner, um, it can be really hard and feel really overwhelming to track macros in an app that doesn't have a lot of guidance for beginners and LifeSum will take all the guesswork out of it for you. I literally get asked this question like five times a day, every single day, where do you track your macros? What app do you use? And so this is it. Like I previously said, it has a whole section for water um, and it kind of tells you like how you're doing on staying hydrated. It has a whole section on snacks and dinner and lunch and breakfast and like it tells you where you're at for your sodium for the day, which can be really good to track from the get-go because most people are consuming way too much sodium if they don't realize it. For someone that's been like in the healthy lifestyle, like for example, um, I've been tracking long enough that I don't really have to watch my sodium because I can look at things and know like, okay, you know, if I eat this, I need to like eat a little less sodium here and vice versa. So. It comes natural to you after you've been tracking for a while, but if you're a beginner, it's a great, great, great resource to have. And basically, you go in, you make your account, you plug in your goals, and it kind of gives you your macros for you. So, there you go. Like I mentioned previously, if you guys want a video over bloating, why you might be bloating, or five things that might be causing it, give this video a thumbs up right now, and I will get that done ASAP. As always, feel free to leave any comments below on anything else you'd like to see on our channel <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!